Hey, this is Drake, and in this video, we are going to show you a little bit about how we use Martin Onyx at Bethel Church and uh, how, how we have the show laid out and some of the things we have set up. So uh, let's dive in and take a look at the show. Okay, here's our show. We have a lot of groups happening here. Uh, there's a lot happening. So uh, as you can see, we have uh, things like our podium lights right here. This is just a random one. We like to lay it out with all eight of our lights, um, also with an all button right next to it. Um, we have things like our R1s on the floor that we number. We have our spots in the air. Uh, spot all, R1 all. We like to create the groups and things like that, but this is basically our groups layout and we kind of lay it out to how they are on the stage or in the house is kind of how we like to lay it out. So we kind of know where they are on the screen versus based on where they are in the house and vice versa. Um, we have our layout view, which we um, really are only using this for our Vipers, um, for key light, just so we have a little bit easier control of them. Um, all of our fixtures. Um, this is our main tab though. This is the way that we control our show and uh, we've just named it show. This is just a custom view. And these are playback buttons. And we actually have pages of playback buttons um, happening here, um, which is why we have two playback button windows open. And uh, you can see that there's just a ton of color. Um, and one of the main things, because we don't use haze on Sunday and things like that, is uh, we use color to change the mood. And so um, here, Let's start up here. This is our, our top R2. So these are the R2s in the air. Um, and we basically just have color for all of them, uh, starting from white to aqua, CTO. And it's the, kind of duplicated the same. Like these are our side R1 wash fixtures. These are the floor R1 wash fixtures. Same colors, just different groups of fixtures. Um, we have colored house lights, so these can change the colors of the house lights. And we have little LED strobes on stage that we use as blinders. And again, change color. Uh, so a lot of this is just color. We actually um, put our house lights. Um, we have two different ways to control our house lights. Um, we do have cues for 100%, 80, 70, 60, 50, um, controlling the intensity. Or we select our house cue here, and then we can control it on a fader down here um, if we want to have more uh, detailed house fading, we control it uh, right here. Normally, this is how we would control it for Sundays, but for usability for volunteers and stuff, we've also made some presets. Um, for uh, our speaking light and our vocal light, it's just a couple cues. Click it to turn it on. Click it to turn it off. Fades on. And fades off. Um, and then uh, we have the same for our band fixtures there. We have a couple cues created for our dancers and for baptisms, um, as well as a house wash cue. That's the color um, wash that we have. Um, over here, we should have a few positions. Um, we pretty much keep the same positions at all times. Um, and so we just uh, run all these cues. Uh, and those are the positions that we use uh, for our fixtures. Um, and then we just have a few things like we can make the fixtures wide. We can give them a frost. Um, these are just making them wide. And a lot of times we just leave these on well, the whole service. We just like that big wash look. It looks really good in-house and on camera. Um, we have a spot uh, prism. It's just adding kind of like a gobo-ish thing to the uh, spots. And then our hazer. When we do run haze, we just have a hazer cue to turn the hazer on and off. Um, and down here, these are our faders. So we have intensity for our R1 washes, or R2 washes, sorry. Intensity for our spots. Um, intensity for the floor washes, side washes, and our little LED wash strobes that we have. We tend to always have a lot of blinders, so we have a blinder fader. We can control our blinders. Um, side pars, these are uh, more blinders that are pars on the sides of the stage. Our house wash intensity, um, and then our house intensity. 
And those are like the main faders that we always have. We use lots of intensity to control movement and things like that. Um, the reason why we're using Q-Stacks instead of Submasters is, as you can see here on the spots, um, we actually have cues for different groups of fixtures. So this one's all. So all of the fixtures would be on. Um, we can, uh, if we get, go here, these are the four mids. So this would be highlighting like just the vocals. Uh, those are just the sides. It's like highlighting the vocals from the side spots, not the middle spots. And again, all. So we can kind of like cycle through it instead of having to have a lot more of cues and faders laid out. We can just cycle through what we want. Um, fun tip. Uh, if you select uh, a cue stack and you want to go to the last cue or a cue in it, all you have to do is go cue, three, enter, and it's going to run that cue. Um, one of the things that we have set up right here is our cue stack. So whatever cue stack is selected is going to show up right here. This just allows us to have um, to view it while the show is running. So we can be doing stuff with all of our buttons up here but we want to have a look at what this cue stack is so it shows up there. We're not going to different pages and things like that. Um, so as you can see, I can go cue to enter and it's going to run that second cue of the cue list I have selected. And again, you can still use the, the all or the back and go to go through those cues as well. Um, and then what we do is here, we just have a few of our uh, big groups that we have. Um, uh, like R2 Wash All, R1 All, Podium Vipers, Vi Viper Vocals, uh, things like that, um, that we need to select fast. Um, so we're not like looking through it here. This is kind of like a big programmer view for when we're trying to program a lot of stuff. This is like, oh, I need to select all the washes and change the intensity to zero or something like that. That's what that window's for. Just kind of puts everything at our fingertips. Um, we also have presets here. So we have color and position and intensity presets here. The idea of this screen is just to give us everything that uh, we need quickly during a show is on the screen. We can see it all, we can get to it all. That's the idea of this. Um, other things, we just have like a little keyless editor and a programmer, um, but we mainly use this show tab a lot. Um, like it's 98% of the time we're on this unless we're programming something crazy. We might be in our layout or our groups, but we mainly stay on this uh, show tab. And that's basically how we have our show set up. So that is a basic overview of how Bethel sets up their show on Martin and MPC. If you have any questions, feel free to leave some comments and check out some other videos for more in-depth uh, tutorials on how to control the software.